Max. Hello and good morning. Max Clifford, the man behind the headlines about David Mellor, Manly Orwood, Freddie Starr, and now Member of Parliament Jerry Hayes, and who says that he's going to bring down the government, is here to face his critics. Max, you were the PR man behind the story that was in the News of the World last week about Jerry Hayes and his alleged relationship with the, a gay man. His mm -hmm. wife yesterday said it's all a pack of wicked lies. Mm -hmm. Is it? Oh, not according to Paul Stone, not according to the letters which he showed me, which I think clearly revealed that they were having a homosexual relationship, and that was his allegations, of course. And, of course, the allegations which were written in last week's Daily Mirror and The Sun went on to talk about not only underage sex, but the fact that unprotected sex took place within hours of meeting. Now, if that's true, which, of course, the letters would tend to suggest it is, uh, I don't think it's a very responsible way for an MP who is a member of the House of Commons All-Party Committee on AIDS to carry on. Unprotected sex within a few hours of meeting someone you don't know. So she's telling lies, is she? Well, according to Paul Stone and the letters, yes. I mean, you know, the only two people that know the real truth of this are Jerry Hayes and Paul Stone. But the letters that everyone has seen uh, would tend to suggest a very, very special, deep, meaningful it's a serious relationship. Thing. It's a serious thing to say about someone, a serious thing to say about anyone, given the consequences and the repercussions that it has for him, and of course for his family too. You are quite clear in your mind that they're true, these allegations. Well, as clear as I possibly can yeah. be. I wasn't there, I didn't see them, but I've read the letters. Even as have the editors of the News of the World and various other newspapers, and they've all come to the same conclusion. Even if it is true, Max? I think it's true. I mean, obviously, yeah. Oh, OK. Do we need to know? Do we need to know all this about Jerry? Yes, I, Is it I really think, important? Well, I think it says a lot about the man. You know, I mean, politicians hide behind an image. So when you get a chance to see them for what they really are, I think it's extremely important, because these people are making decisions affecting our lives. Uh, he's part of the, uh, the uh, party of family values, remember? Uh, if family values means going out and having sex with uh, whoever you happen to meet, you know, young boys, etc., which is what the allegations say, then I'm afraid uh, they're not the same kind of family values as I have. Is your MP, Kathleen, do you need to know? No, I don't think we need to know. Um, Jerry Hayes, he does his job. I can give you four instances where Jerry Hayes has worked for the people of Harlow. What do you do for the people of Harlow? You're uh, nothing but a parasite. What do I do for the people of yes. Harlow? What do you don't even Harlow know where Harlow is. Uh, no, I actually no. went there once. It was closed. Oh, I should <laughs> imagine so. Yeah. I should imagine if they knew you were coming, is. they probably closed up. Yeah. Jerry Hayes is a good MP. Well, you're entitled to your opinion. That, that is... We, we, the people of Harlow, elected him. Who elected you? No one yeah, elected me. I'm expressing an opinion. I mean, I didn't tell the news of the world. Paul Stone told the news why, of the world. Why he then to showed keep it them quiet evidence. For, for such a long time. Why has it been on file? Who the hell has been paying you to keep quiet about it? Because you knew about it a long while ago. I knew about it about six weeks ago, actually. Well, well, How long is that? I knew about it six weeks ago. Well, why, why have you had to wait until now? Well, stories have to be stood up. They have to be proven. They have to be, uh, obviously, from, for legal reasons. And the legal people in the news of the world looked into the story checked over the letters, talked to various other people, and decided it was totally true. Now, these well, things take their time. Well, I will admit... it taken six years James? for it to come yes, to... Yes, I wonder why it's taken so long for Mr Paul Stone to bring out these allegations. Mm -hmm. And you hedged your words around with allegations about five or six times during what you said in the opening words. I'm absolutely devastated. Jerry Hayes is a friend, he's a colleague, he's a co um, contemporary of mine, and um, he has done his job... Uh, assiduously. He is an extremely active member of Parliament and I understand from his constituents, whom we've just heard from, that he is a good member of Parliament. Mm -hmm. So the news the allegations, of the, 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 the news if the allegations of the, are true, that's okay. The news of the world... If the allegations are true, is that okay with you? If, it, if the allegations are, are true, true, what, what, what okay? trouble did you take to find out whether the allegations mm -hmm. had any it, truth in them whatsoever? Cynical. None whatever. You're it's prepared, to, you're is, prepared to destroy question. a man, you're prepared if to destroy true, a man and his family on the basis of allegations from someone who alleges that he had some sort of, well, he had relationship a lot of evidence with Mr. Hayes he had a lot of four evidence. years ago. He had a lot of now, evidence to support I find it. it absolutely he had a lot of evidence will, to support it. You... And he was paid a lot of money. <clears throat> no doubt. What's that got to do with I mean, anything? You're an MP. You're paid a lot of money. You've got a great big increase recently. 
Didn't you? Isn't what do you What's do? wrong with that? Hang on, Roger. Let Anna build it. So don't, don't criticise me because of money. Sorry? Of, of some information that you sat on, that you used, For six in order weeks. to carry out a private vendetta against the British government. You are playing God. And you have no right to. You are a I've man who lies. Right to express you are a man who I've got fabricates every... stories. You are a and man MPs who creates don't lie, I suppose. more victims than he saves. MPs don't lie. Saved. Is that what you're saying? I never I think your that. father said something wrong. I, I would only said. pay people at the last possible moment. I'm not here to And a lot of people went out of business, possibly because of that. I don't pay my bills until the last possible moment, says Michael Hesseltine. And a lot of small businesses went out of business. Yes? You did read the whole story. Oh, I see. Right. OK, fair enough. But next, you have a deuce. Next, next, next leaving aside the veracity or otherwise of these allegations, yeah. the, the, the truth and that, when you, you, you had them in your possession, or when, when somebody was <laughs> talking to you about how, yeah. what we're going to do, how are these are going to be marketed, you, you've got a wife and a daughter mm -hmm. whom you love, yeah. who love you, who you talk about in very affectionate terms. Jerry Hayes has a wife and a daughter. Uh -huh. At any stage did you look at your wife and your daughter and think to myself, what am I going to be doing to Jerry Hayes' wife and Jerry Hayes' yeah. daughter? No. Yeah. No. Yes, I did. Oh, well, these people know what goes on in my mind, do they? What, tell me what you've been in your mind. I tell you exactly what, what went on in your mind. mind. I thought about this. I wanted the man to be absolutely sure of what he was saying. He went away, thought about it, he came back with evidence, he came back with more evidence, which I passed on to the news of the world. They checked him out thoroughly, checked his background, and door saw to the Max. security pass Wife that Jerry... To Max. Will, you, will you let me finish the question, Robert? Checked out the security pass that Jerry Hayes had got him. He was no researcher. So why did he want him coming in and out of the Commons, being with him all the time? No researcher. I checked it out. Wife and daughter. I checked it. Fine. So I checked it his out. wife might not want to know all well, that. Fine. Maybe his wife doesn't want to know. But I do happen to think that the British public have got a right to know about these Don't people in know. power, in power, what they're saying when they're practicing something totally of different. Aren't in power. Yes. Oh, I see. He's not in power. Backbench members of parliament. So Jerry Hayes is power. not a member no. of the government. Oh, fine. He's not a member of the government. Indeed, I see. He's a backbench and he's not a member of the All Party Committee on AIDS. The, he's not there vice are chairman. Hundreds of, that. of All Party. He's not vice chairman of the All Party, party Committee on AIDS, it is not which an important preaches group. about the, the, the deadly it, dangers of unprotected sex. What attempt did you Let, make to get in touch with Jerry Hayes to see whether there was any veracity in these allegations? Jerry's going to come forward to me and say yes. No, did you give him any attempt? When no, did an MP in that situation? Mellor, Mellor denied he was having an affair with Antonio de Sencha. Max. So I'm supposed Jerry to say Hayes. to him, oh, did so you, you do didn't, it, Jerry? You didn't make he any said, attempt yes, to get I did. in touch. Yes, I did, Jerry. The Mac. paper did. Let Matt, Matt, Matt. The paper did. Oh, go on, Rosemary. Why should we believe uh, you, Max, <clears> when you repeatedly go on record as saying you lie? Well, let me uh, explain. You make, you make a, a, a great performance about okay. lying. Well, can I... And I'd li also like to say that uh, you have, I believe, there are, there are students here of, of uh, public relations and lots of other things mm -hmm. in this audience. What is it that gives you the right An to give, to in make view, lying, to Max make lying, uh, a, 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 a part of what they do. You're teaching a new generation of sleaze and you've got the gall uh, to mm -hmm. be saying that you're God, judge and jury well, over others. I've said this is what's going on, make up your own mind. But you do tell That's lies, Max. She's saying you do tell Can lies. Can I answer the question now? Right. I tell lies. I would say the Beatles have sold 10,000 albums this week when they'd sold one, when I launched the Beatles in 62. I will say Jimi Hendrix has sold two million tickets for his tour when they've sold one. I will say Freddie Starr didn't eat a hamster. These are lies. No, I mean, he says he didn't but eat you, a hamster. But the things you're talking he about didn't. are lies. Oh, right. Those, you those you are that? the kind of lies that I'm talking so about. So some lies are okay and some others are okay. No, no, yeah, listen, that's, that's you that's make that's up some your lies own lies. You Good. make up public relations, a large yeah. part of PR is about lying and deceit. That is absolutely right. rubbish. Rubbish. Economical with the truth. Rubbish. 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 You don't know the difference between you truth and fiction. As you Actually, know. it's a much tougher call if you're less colourful. Tell the truth, and frankly, a lot of people don't want to hear. Uh, the newspapers don't want to mm. hear. You ought to try earning your living by being honest for a change. Mm. Yeah. 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 On lies, Max admits to telling lies. I he says they're not important. They are important, and I don't know how you can take the moral high ground saying that everybody has to be wiser than white when you yourself have admitted lying, I don't remember and now you're that. spin doctoring on behalf of the Labour Party. Okay, I've never worked for the Labour Party. I'm not even a member of the Labour Party. If Jerry Hayes had been a Labour member of Parliament, I would have done exactly the same thing. Well, wrong is wrong, no matter what party you're in. That's so all. Max, 
if you if you admit <clears throat> as you do to telling lies, the you kind just of lies I've just explained, Robert. But how do we know when you're telling the truth, mm. Max? Yeah. Can well, I it, just how do you know when? Well, if you tell lies, mm. Max, how do we? How, how, how do we know when you're telling the truth, or anybody tells the truth? You make up your own mind. MPs tell lies every day of their lives. But if you're saying if you're MP. saying it's acceptable <coughs> to tell lies, you know they stand up and say something knowing it's totally Roger, untrue yeah. because their party tells them they've got to say it, Robert. Mr. And they don't even believe it. But Mr. sometimes if you say <coughs> things, I mean, if if you were a client. A, 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 a legitimate client, I would have thought they would be anxious that now that everybody knows that Max says it's okay to tell certain kinds of lies, that client will worry that most people think that what's being said about him, which is good uh, about him, is in, in the fact media, a lie. I think everybody in the media knows that public relations is about lying, being economical, well, with the truth, said it being isn't. Hold on just a second, an important part of public relations. Certainly all the media knows that, Julia, because all the time you're trying to get your message across. Okay, here's, here's Peter. Relations. You're a liar, Julia. I run a PR agency and I've, I advise students on getting a career in PR. I've never lied in my professional life. I get just as many stories on the front pages as you do without ruining anybody's reputation. Well, good for you. There it's are 5,000 members of the Institute of Public Relations. Uh, public relations is one of the most preferred industries above journalism for people to go into. It's the second most think, popular degree course. I, I think, think it's completely line, loony, Max, for you to say <laughs> that it's based on lying. It's like saying that the pantomime no, horse is based. the same as the, as the Oscar winning I said, actor. I said it's an you important part. You turn public relations into pantomime. The rest of us don't. I said it's an important it's part. That's right. I don't say think, it's a I don't think it's a so anymore. You certainly wouldn't. Well, just let me say this. You've indicated that you want to wage a vendetta against the Tory party because of what they've done to the health service. National health You're the man yes. that sought to exploit a multiple birth, a multiple <coughs> pregnancy, I didn't provided by the health, health service, service, and you made yeah, yeah. thousands of pounds out of it. Yes. Who's the hypocrite? Can I explain? Can I answer this, Pratt? Yeah. Right, fine. Okay. Mandy Orwood came to me expecting eight babies, right? She didn't have sexual intercourse intending to have eight babies, but that's what happened to her. She was two days of a 16-day fertility treatment. Her doctors, on the health service. Her, absolutely right, and her doctors on the health service told her what she had to do. She had to go to London and be treated by Professor Nicolaides. Professor Nicolaides treated her completely free of charge. All of her health bills were paid by, by the news of the world as part of the deal. <laughs> so that's all right, is it? Well, that's what So happened. it's all right to exploit... So what you just said is totally so wrong. So it's all right. No, so it's not... So you got all... it wrong, you see. No, as I haven't usual. got it, got it wrong. wrong. I've got no, it totally all right. Up, what know. you did What's was your... you took that situation <clears throat> and sought to exploit it, and I believe it was yeah. totally dishonest so, to do so. So, Robert, why did your production company try and buy her up? Why did we try to buy her up? Yeah. We're not just saying it's wrong. To make money from Mr. Gale is saying it's wrong. That's not the point. Turn the tables if you like. Why don't you answer the question? Gale is saying it's wrong. But yeah, he's he, saying it's wrong to make money. Now, your company tried to buy Mandy no, so explain well, to I'm you. saying it's wrong to this, make money out of falsehoods and out of other people's well, no, 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 okay. I'm, I'm in the hot seat. I'm in the hot you seat. I'm in the hot seat. You said out of the pregnancy. Please explain why you tried to buy the story. No, 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 it's a quite a different thing. Mm. Well, of course. My, right. no, well, of course it is. There are okay. different things. The, the Kuroi Television Company wanted to make a documentary about sure. it. Absolutely right. And I'm sure we approach you to want to make a documentary. Along with lots of other people. Quite right. But if that's the same as what Roger is talking about, about the way you exploited it, then that's a tote. Then, then I have to accept responsibility for that. But that's not what you're saying. What is I'm it? saying is he's criticising the health service on the one hand, while being perfectly prepared to make money out of a spin-off from it. On I the didn't other. make and money from the National Health more. Service. I made money from Mandy, Mandy Orwood and from News International and news and television media worldwide. They paid me. But when you the NHS, and with regard to the NHS, my NHS, my views are based on 18 years of seeing at first hand what your lot have done to the National Health Service. You've destroyed it, and you've destroyed. Mandy Lives Mandy Orwood. Max, if Roger has raised the issue of Mandy. You're Mandy's ex-husband, aren't you? Yes, I am, yes. <laughs> she didn't get the fertility treatment. She didn't pay for the fertility treatment. She got that on the, on the NHS. Long before I got involved. Fine. Yeah. But she, well, she never needed fertility treatment. Sorry? She didn't need fertility treatment. Simon, that was long before I got involved. I can only tell you about the things I was involved with. I've been criticised for my involvement with Mandy and I'll answer my critics. What's happened to the David Mellors that were supposed to be here? 
and the Jerry Hayes that were supposed to be here, they won't stand up and be counted. You're looking at Where me. Are they? You're looking at me again, well, Max. You know, I everybody, said invite these people everybody, and I'll face them, okay, I'll answer all you of them. Let Where me, are they? Max, to use your phrase, let me answer the question. <laughs> everybody who has been involved on the other end of what your activities in the last, how many years, every single person has been approached yes. and been invited to be here. Uh -huh. They do not either want or cannot be uh, here this morning. Exactly. Right. Well, they might Thank have you. good reasons for much. not being here. They might be in Timbuktu. <clears throat> yeah. Do you, it's said about Max that he destroys people's lives. Do you feel mm. that? Yes, he does, yes. He put the, he put the press on our doorstep. Um, I did? Yes, you did. You telephoned what, me. What, why did I put the press on you? No. Why did I put the press you, on you your doorstep? Me three I times. invited the press to contact you? Yes, you did. No. Yes, Sorry, did. Simon. You're a liar. No. They <laughs> You're a liar. You're a liar. I'm You've not got a liar. it wrong. No, they I'm contacted not. you. No, you. I had nothing to do with you, that. You I tell you. People judge that. Yeah. You well, yeah. if they listen to you, obviously they will. The kind of things you destroy your life. Did he destroy your life? Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, he he, he went a long way to destroy it. I mean, I'm the ex-father-in-law of Simon's father. You're um, the ex-father-in-law of Simon's, Simon's father. I'm Simon's father, ex-father-in-law of Mandy Orwood. Right. Yeah. And the, the Simon's father. We yeah. got. Uh, the the press we got handed by the press i see we got telephone calls they found us all the, the in during the day the <coughs> night and the effect of that on our family and particularly my wife you know i, I put i certainly put that down to you you're so the instigator you're the instigator of of your of of the press chasing your son you're the instigator of the press you're the person behind the publicity uh -huh. and was it your son that said to one of the television programs the more right. you pay me the more dirt i no, dish I did, I, but he, he was quoted on the television no, show I don't, don't care I, I don't care oh, i've got i've, no, got, I don't don't care I've got, got a, a letter from the itc <clears throat> who we complained about that the program i was i was hounded by that program we were given a so false why did name. you say what you said simon no, I'll be as dirty as you want, depending on how much money I'm all getting. It was all taken out of context. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> it was, that, it was that's all morality. Out of this is a man that's criticising me and doing this. I am Are you, me. hang on, you're not, that's not you speaking there, you're quoting Simon. What? When you said no, I'll be... That was on television. You said that. That was on the, on the box. They showed him on the film saying this. What, Simon said that, not yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, oh, Everybody Simon. thought you were when quoting was, no, yourself. When he was interviewed, when he was interviewed, yeah, I think it was a big I, story, one of those, I don't know. But they interviewed him and they said, well, yeah. you know, the more dirt you want me to dish, the more money you come up with, the more I say. That's what he no, said on no, television. I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> it, was it was completely taken out of context. We asked. They, oh, right. They, Can I just say okay. something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that Max Let Gifford takes something and tr twists <clears throat> it round his own No, I'm not a politician. I have read, I that I have read an enormous <clears throat> number of articles about you in the last few days. Uh -huh. I also read the interview yesterday with the Sunday Times. You take everything and well, you twist it around. According to the Sunday Times, I drive you a Mercedes. I don't have a Mercedes. You your private life There's a lot of things in there extent. which weren't true, You talk about. about the things that you do. <clears throat> you, over, you protest too much when you say, when you tell us about all the good things that you do in your private life and then you go out and you destroy other people. Peoples. Because the people, the, the, the victims are the people who are inadvertently brought into these things. What, like, like Jerry Hayes, Hughes, inadvertently like brought Jerry into Hayes it. Like Jerry Hayes' wife. Like David Mellor, into, into, into Like Antonio DeSantis, <coughs> who was well, taken. Like this man Paul Didn't Jerry Stone. Hayes and David they, Mellor have anything to do with their wives being put in this situation? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't, didn't say realize. that they didn't. What I'm saying oh, is the you. people that you manipulate <coughs> and take uh, are, are people like Antonio De Sanchez and Paul Stone. They are people, they are adults, they are over 18, I... they can take responsibility right. for their own things. <coughs> For, for their own actions. What one gets, and who this answer had an affair with a politician. I'm not here to say whether she did or didn't do the right thing. But what made Antonio de Sanchi look bad in the eyes of the public was not the fact that she'd had so much of the affair, was, that, was what happened afterwards, was the fact that you took her to a premiere, that she actually went out, she showed off. Now, the dignified thing to, uh, to have done in that situation would have been to have lain right. quiet. Paul Can Stone has had his life <coughs> ruined. Paul Stone <coughs> will always be <coughs> the boy who had an affair, alleged affair, <coughs> with Jerry Hayes. That will carry go into the rest, long after Jerry Hayes and his family have sorted out their problems. But the mm. issue here, surely, is not the, whether Max does it or whether the, the, it's the reasons behind it. The fact is, the tabloid press in this country have a, an incredible appetite for sleaze. The motivation behind all this is money. <coughs> if Absolutely. in France, mm. in France, for example, uh, it doesn't matter if politicians have... What the motivation have. is money? What Max's motivation mm. is money? Uh, money. Ma Ma Max's motivation, uh, Paul Stone's motivation, 
dissent, 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 yeah, and Sanchez girl, and so on, and, and so on. And so Maria Sanchez was defending herself. The story came out, nothing to do with her. Yes, through her friend. But nothing to do with her. The fact is, her. it's only Several important Several weeks because later, after being attacked by the press, Every member of, of, the, of the press was attacking her. Friends of hers were coming out and selling stories. She came to me and said, help. And I taught her to handle the media. I taught her to make the best of a bad situation. I had, didn't break the story. No, that's exactly minute, Max, what we did. Max, no, you did. Margaret, Margaret, yeah. Well, I was going to say two things. I think, first of all, you model <coughs> what is of interest to the public to what is in the public interest. Yeah. And all that you have I done, didn't say it was all in, that you have I'm done. I'm talking about the national health being in a public well, interest. Well, I'll, I'll come. I'll come on to the national health and because Jerry I think Hayes. you're damaging. You're damaging the argument that the, that the national health service is in desperate well, need of that. more let's resources. Let's come on to that. Are we talking about <laughs> at the moment the right? allegation that Annabelle picks up on that Max is is destroying well, people's I, lives? Well, I do. I think I. Th and the other thing, I think Who's actually like? you're a symptom in a way. You're a symptom of checkbook journalism. But what you're also doing is you're taking people <clears throat> in a very weak position, whether it's a, a you know, whether it's a, a lover who's been rejected, and you're exploiting that. Not That's in the right. public interest, no. but simply because you can make True. money of it, and because you, th uh, because the newspapers <coughs> think there is some interest in the public, and that's what's wrong with what well, you do. I feel rather sorry for well, you, actually, that, that nice you have to you. make your money you out much. of such can a salacious way. <coughs> can I answer that now? Yeah. The yes. Yeah, Max. Come on. Fine. Okay. Eighty percent of my business is taking care of stars and companies worldwide, which is what I've done for thirty years since I launched the Beatles. Sinatra, Mohammed Ali, they're quite well known, and I get a lot of money from that. Eighty percent of so the So don't money tell me you're doing this out of the that? goodness no, of I your answer? No, Max, you've interrupted <coughs> other people. Answer? Max, the you've order. interrupted other 80 people. Eighty percent. Are you doing of what this? Do. Did you do Jerry Hayes over on the goodness of your heart? Is this the you... goodness of your heart? Uh, Come on. So the question, eighty percent of what I do is on those lines. The other twenty percent is exposing people like Jerry Hayes, but that's not like in the public Peter interest. Harding, that's not like in the public I happen, interest. I happen to believe it is, to know that if a man is sitting, as I keep saying, on the All-Party AIDS true. Committee, telling us about how dangerous, unprotected sex is, if these allegations are true, that's exactly what he was the story practicing. And then to flog it for the that's most exactly pieces of silver to the gutter press. Can I just okay. say that to that in the you, public Max, interest? if you want to expose... Showing him up if what you he want, is. Hang on a minute, Hypocrisy, Max. double hang standards, hang on. typical hang conservative. Hang on, if you want to... Surely should know about hypocrisy and double standards. We see I'm Hang sure Mr. Hayes minute. will see you in Max, court. And you are the arbiter of these Max, double standards. Max, let me just say this oh. to you. If you want yeah. to expose <clears throat> all the ills that we well yes, know about the health service, use your so-called talents <clears throat> to expose them. I've been doing come that. And look, Did you see the Sunday look, Mirror yesterday? Come and look. Double page come, spread, how bad come it is. And look Did you see Panama release own, last week? Come on a minute, Max. Let all the people finish. You interrupted me. How bad it was. Let all the people finish. Panama last week. All across the country, the public are getting the message. This party is destroying the National Health Service and causing death and destruction Listen, because one that you and your family Listen, and Mandy Allwood have used for years. Listen, I think I, I think this party, the, I think the Conservative Party has underfunded and is threatening the National Health thank Service. You. I agree with you. But <coughs> I thank think you, you diminish, right, right. hang on, I think you diminish the cause by using an issue of a salacious issue which is absolutely irrelevant but, but and you don't it's need not it. irrelevant. you don't, I don't need think it. you it's just irrelevant. simply expose in my own constituency in my own constituency i think people in on. power Max, should be seen for what they really let are let me finish let me finish we're going around in circles max clearly when margaret we're going around in circles max clearly doesn't we are you're at a opposed and from You're looking at a different ground. Derek, you were a client of Max, and Max talks about telling <laughs> lies. It was your <laughs> lies uh, about people. Did he tell lies about you? Did you kind of collaborate with those lies? Did he damage mm. your life? Did he destroy your life? Did he make your career? Where do I start? Um, no, uh, I was never a client of, uh, of Max's. Uh, Thank I'm you. A good friend of Max's. <coughs> good friend of Max's. Did I charge um, you, Derek? Uh, no, you didn't charge me. Thank you. Hang on, let me finish. I'm on your side, right, so at least thanks. let me finish. You're not going to let the others finish. Um, <coughs> And I, I must admit, Don't I can't feel minutes. too sorry for the likes of the Peter Hardings and the Jay Hayes of the world, because, to be honest, as I've had to accept more than most people in this world, it's the price of the ticket, I'm afraid. That once you put yourself in public view, expect to get a little bit of battling down. That's what happens in life. But if I can just come back and answer the question, Robert. I mean, I, I first met Max in the late 80s, 
when the Liverpool City Council thing had finished. And at that stage, the this only is the time... the militant domination of the Liverpool City Council. Well, the Liverpool, the, the, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Liverpool City Council that I was involved yeah. with, right? Call it what you like. That, the, the reality is, the reality is, when that had finished, um, the only times people sort of talked to me were on the basis of heavy political stuff. There wasn't... The other side, which I had to get into then, the softer side, wasn't around. And I met the Max... The softer Stubbs, side I, of you? There is, you know, I'm a, I'm a pussycat really, Robert, you know I am. Um, and um, I met Max through a mutual friend. And at the time when everybody else was having a go, Max was there to support. And Max was saying, well, let, there is another side, let's look at it. And sure enough, we did go into a situation where um, a story was invented. Such and this as. story, I'll tell you now, this story that was invented caused no harm or anxiety to anybody in the world. <coughs> what happened was that he said to me, listen, we're meeting someone tonight who happens to be Di, Princess Di's cousin. There's a journalist who's desperate trying to try and get something on me. And he wants to get something on her as well. Why don't we set the two of you up? Feed it as though somehow you're doing this sort of Ken this Kenyan visit with her and the big raging affair going on. So Derry Cat and the Militant, he's off with Diana's right. cousin. And, and by the way, the son loved it. Di Di's cousin dates Degsy. Yes, was the son's cousin. Hang on, hang on a minute. Di's cousin was delighted about it. Ev nobody Forest. was hurt by it. And at the end of the day, like, final point before we go on to somebody else. At the end of the day, it's not Max Clifford who actually prints these stories in the Forest. newspapers. It's the newspaper proprietors that do it. Yeah. And at the end of the day, they are the ones that are responsible Boris, for this. Boris, 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 you are a sewer. You are the conduit. Yeah. You are the necessary conduit of unmentionable transactions between uh, manifest liars and tabloid news desks who are going to pay for the And you've admitted that you're a, a liar. I can't liar. believe you come on this programme. Well, you, you are. But you've, said, you've said that you're a liar. That's almost the first thing you said in, no in answer to the question over there. You said you said you you said made things up. Boris, you've got to lie. How can anybody... Hang on, let me just get to the point. How can you possibly... What paper do you work for? The Daily Telegraph. Well, exactly. Possibly, how, yeah, exactly. Point, point, point me to a man <laughs> the Daily Telegraph. How, how can you possibly, how can you possibly I mean, stand owned by the Conservative anything? Party, of course you're going to be upset by my activities, Boris, you're owned by the Robert, Conservatives. Robert, the only person Max hasn't interrupted has been Derek Hatton. It would really be helpful if I did interrupt Derek Hatton. I no, did interrupt him. I'm you're sorry. You're interrupting, interrupting, no, you're interrupting absolutely lives. everyone. Makes yes. it very difficult to have a proper conversation. What do we feel about all this and what's happening and what Max does? Well, I think it's deplorable. I mean, you have a wife and you have a daughter. Uh -huh. How would you feel if this was, you know, the shoe was well, on the other foot? If I was having unprotected sex with young boys, oh, I would how would you as feel? As well as I I how would you feel yeah, if, if the shoe was on the other foot? Your wife and your daughter. You answer one person at a time. You have made these allegations. I have. No, Paul Stone did. The News of the World, the Sun, the Daily Mirror. You publicised these allegations about Jerry Hayes. You stage managed. Have you considered? The quite right. Effect of his family, his kids, right. his children have, yeah. have to go to school. I want my young man. Come on. His children have to go to school. I think he should have thought about they that. But then how would you feel if the shoe was on the other foot? You'd never answered well, that before. let me explain then. Okay, if the allegations are true and I'm having underage sex, unprotected sex with people I've just met, maybe these coming out would save my wife's life because maybe I won't give her AIDS. What do you say? That is children. Answer the question. Well, is that not a possibility? Unprotected sex with someone you just met, if these allegations well, are true. Which are denied by right. me. It's, it's an allegation. If it's we know true, you lie, so it could be true. It could if be it's false. True, but we know you lie, so if it's true, I didn't make the allegations, Paul Stone did. Listen, Matt. Listen to what she's true. saying. Listen to what she's saying, Matt. She won't answer, he won't answer the can question. You know, can I, excuse me, can I finish now? Can I have a, a say in the Please matter? Please do. Oh. There's a little saying in this life that you reap what you sow. Quite right, I hope life. so. And one day, you'll get your comeuppance. And believe me, it'll be justly defied. I think it's here today, isn't Sorry, it? Sorry, deserved, Surrounded I beg your pardon. Justly defied. It'll be defied as well. Max. <laughs> Max Clifford is actually telling the truth about the national health. I, I'm 65 year old, I'm not political, and I've got breast cancer. I have been treated wonderfully by, by my doctors and nurses, yeah, but they are working their service. butts into the ground. I've raised money for equipment. I have now, with other breast cancer patients and relatives who have had um, their wives died, uh, I've launched Breast Cure Scotland to get money for the research men in Scotland. They are short of money. We were the envy of the whole world with our national health yeah. when I was a young woman. Yeah. Now people are laughing at the, the state of the things. Mm -hmm. On lives. We're still on lives, really. We'll come, we'll come on to the National Health Service and the vendetta against the government in a minute. You said a minute ago, about 15 minutes ago, whose lives do you destroy? I, six weeks ago, was exposed in the news of the world. By me? No, but Did I have anything paper. to do with it? No. Yeah, but she, she's giving you an example, Max. An example of what it's like to be exposed when you're a nobody. Some, you know, one day you're a nobody, the next day you're a somebody and a cause of gossip. Why did you become a somebody? 
Um, I got married to my husband and he was in prison. You, you, vis you met yeah. him and you fell in love with yeah. him. Yeah, and, and they that. thought that was public knowledge. Why? I don't know. I mean, people do it all the bloody t all the time, you know? I mean... I'm sure you do too. Well, I've only just um, started walking out my front door again because, you know, my family didn't speak to me. People didn't want to know. They're all gossiping. And I just couldn't face life because of people like them. And what did it make you feel? Well, it made me feel destroyed, you know. I mean, I just, uh, I just didn't know what to do with so myself. So what do you think that Jerry Hayes' wife feels? Well, I can identify with how she's feeling. Obviously, my story's not as bad and it won't last as long as hers. So if you were Max and you had that story, would you help to sell it to the newspaper, to put it in the newspaper, or would you say no? No, I wouldn't. I'd sit back and think of the people you're going to destroy. So what would you say to Max? Well, sit back and think of the people that you're going to ruin the lives of. Uh, but as you say, I had nothing to do with that. No, Most of the didn't. people that me have got problems with the media. <coughs> Antonio de Sancho, as I just said, I was being attacked by the media for kissing and telling, which he hadn't if, done. If I so I took up, let me answer, please. Yeah. I took up her case. If and I, I taught her to handle the media. And in your situation, stage it's a shame that you didn't maybe come to me, because possibly I could if have helped you stand to up you, for yourself. <laughs> which is something I do every day of my life for no so, money at so. all. all right, you, then did if you I just came take Mr. Sancho's case, or did you embellish it? I just, let, 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 I just took it. If I, came I just took it. Were you there? Did you see what David Mellon was no, doing? You're only you telling me that you lie. I believe you lied. You well, so you saw movie. David Mellon and Antonio de Sanchez. You know what went on. No, but on the basis so of your exactly. own admission that you're a liar, so exactly. I believe that you lied. You so blotted her in public afterwards. Wait. If that girl had any sense, she'd have lied low. You took her to a movie premiere. Quite right, yeah. That's exploiting yeah. her. Yeah. No, no, that's, that's making the best of a bad situation. Let's give it some it's right. She's coming back to my situation. situation. We're moving away from movie situation. premieres, and I'm back and in my friend. Antonio de Sancho. If, if I was happy. to come to you and say to you, right, can you make right what they made my life wrong in other people's eyes, would you do that? Well, listen, I don't know anything about your circumstances or the story. No, but okay. if I came and to you... And it strikes me that possibly now the damage has been done. I it can't retrieve done. what's happened but already, But could you obviously. write that now? No, you couldn't. But, Max, keeping it general, what no, I don't doesn't. understand no. about you being here mm -hmm. is that you're an able bloke. Mm -hmm. You feed a, a foul industry. It's not your problem. I accept that. Mm. You didn't create that industry. I accept that also. You are very good at feeding to the tabloids. What I can't understand is how in the last few days you've decided to go on some moral crusade to justify what you do. To say that you're championing people like this poor woman, that you're taking on a terrible government, that you're handling poor old Antonia de Sancho. I don't understand why you simply don't say, I'm a very able bloke that feeds off a vile industry and that's how I earn my money. Now, I can't understand why you can't be honest and simply say that. Is it that somebody's giving you advice as to how to improve your image that you're no, not championing? No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. William, are you being honest? You just put that in a very nice, neutral term. Why can't you just say you're a nice, able bloke feeding off an industry? A moment ago, just before we came on air, when there was an altercation, I don't know the reasons for, between Max and Roger, and when fists and all the rest of it were flying no, around. No, no fists were flying, Roger. Well, there's a lot of people... Okay, a lot, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people in this studio who might have. Proof. You turned to me, William, and said, "I don't." And you accused me. It was a very accusatory kind of demeanour on your face. You were very serious. You were very vehement. And there were other people who took your line too. And you said, "Robert." I don't know why you're giving that man airspace. Well, I've got no problem with saying that. I, I mean, I don't personally think that what you do, Max, is something that I would want to do. Because but you I, have, don't, I yeah. have no problem. But you with, don't know what I do. I have. I know that you, you know this 10%, 20%. Yes, yes, you don't know I, the other. And 80%. you're only here to be judged on the 20% today. Exactly. I, I readily accept. I read right. the Sunday Times yesterday. There's another 80% apparently. And this man on the right will tell us all about it, no doubt. But the fact is that I can't understand why it is that people choose to give you profile. It may be to sell their programs, it may be to sell their papers. But that's the industry you're, I've industry never, you're in. What I think is I've singularly unattractive. To do an what I think is singularly unattractive is to come onto a programme and defend myself. No, and to threaten an MP before we go live, such that you are talking into his face and you have six people pulling you off. Yeah. I do think that the BBC giving coverage to somebody who behaves like that is questionable. Well, it's very yeah. simple. Yeah. Roger Gale and I find each other utterly repulsive. This programme is not about you and Roger strong. Gale. That's all. You both ought to be able simple to con as that. control yeah. yourself in public. The issue well, that I'm did. simply getting to Good is help. why you're not honest about the fact that, in respect to this 
20 percent. You can talk about the other 80 percent if you want to. But in respect oh, to this 20 percent, you. you. you're simply not saying, look guys, I'm good at it. I'm not the only person who does it, and you certainly aren't. Everyone seems to think that you are, but you certainly aren't. And uh, that's it. That's what I do. I don't bother to check whether these stories okay. are true. Why should I? I don't get sued on them. Are you on a moral crusade then, Max? Is this true that you really have a vendetta against the government? You really do no. want to bring down the government? Uh, uh, um, let me explain, OK? So I keep reading what I meant to have said. What I actually think and feel is for the last 18 years, because of my daughter twice. being in hospital, having her hips replaced, knees replaced, all of these various things, I've watched, watched the National Health Service mm -hmm. being destroyed. The doctors and nurses, as dedicated and devoted as ever, it's become harder and harder and harder for them because of the Tories. Twenty years ago, you got the best service no matter how much money you had. Now, you don't. It's all about money. There, they will go private. I was talking to Bernard Inman the other day, and he was attacking my views on the National Health Service. I said, you've been in the hospital? No. But Max, what you So you're talking about the health service. You're yeah, doing it for the, my he's doing it for the health service. He's doing it for them. all of us. Oh. <laughs> Why do you feel it necessary to bring family values into your sort of business life? You're publicising, so you're saying you're a family man. He's doing it for the well, health well, service. I thought it was John Major that brought in family values. He's doing it for the health service. He could think of a better reason than his family, surely. I thought it was John Major that introduced family values. But, but Max you're is using a, your well, daughter, yes. aren't you? Health you're service, Gareth. I think Max is doing it for people like for people like me and you, Gareth. I have exactly the same problems as your daughter. Mm. I've had both my hips, both my knees <clears> replaced. <throat> Because uh, of arthritis. Because of arthritis. I, I believe I've had excellent service out of the So NHS, is my daughter. But I have to say to the MPs here, I think it's declining, and I think it's the government's fault. But I don't like your methods of dealing with Robert. it. Robert! If Fine. you have a political agenda, listen, listen. join the political arena. Mm. Do what James Goldsmith's done. And don't use the press, I which don't. everybody believes is the government <coughs> press. Possibly if I had James Goldsmith's money, But he said Max is doing it for you, Gareth. Yeah, you don't have to set I your own have party James up. Goldsmith's money, unfortunately. Don't set your own party up. <laughs> write, write to the press uh, I'll, I'll get my views across the way I do. But, you know, but, I've got a lot of publicity in the last two or three but weeks people realize, for the National Health Service. No, you people people realise... People are reading oh, in yesterday's Sunday Mirror. You know, every day they're now reading about dreadful well, things going on, if I can suffering use, because let, let, of the Tory party. If I can you've just said yeah, your yeah, daughter has had wonderful Roger, treatment on the health service. Speaking. Can, Nurses can, and doctors are wonderful, yeah. Listen to Gareth. Can I use a terrible cliche? Service. You use the press that don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Mm. And, and not why? about the National Health Service, no. No, well, the... the Different the, rules. You know, it's rock the and same roll, argument that we've had whether we know whether you're lying different. or not. Rock and roll, show business, slightly lying. different. I don't make any pretense about rock and roll and show business. When it comes to areas like this, different rules. But people would take this a lot more seriously. Listen to me, Max. Listen to me. You're from, you're from the Telegraph. Max. You're not interested. Max. People would take you a lot more seriously in that arena over those issues if you were dealing Sorry. with the, the, the big press. Not me. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> health service. I'm astonished actually to hear this debate about the National Health Service. It's quite true that 20 years ago the health service was becoming a dinosaur. It had to be changed, it had to be restructured. It has been restructured and it will take a little while before all the restructuring settles down and there is no doubt you can always rake up exceptional cases of people who have suffered in particular ways which everyone regrets and indeed are in, in, invariably rectified when they come to notice. But to say that the, the National Health Service has been destroyed is sheer rubbish. It has not only been restructured Structured, but money, more and more money has been put into it and is being put into it and there has to be a proper marrying of resources to what people demand and require in an age of technology which is constantly changing and constantly costing more and more. Mm -hmm. And uh, this gentleman here with a bilateral, I've had a yeah. bilateral, I've had two cataracts removed, mm -hmm. we're all of us variously suffering, this good lady over here with cancer. The, the, you can't blame the National Health Service. I'm not. You can't I'm blame the, the government. Party. There are demographic factors that you've got to take account of, and your argument is utterly tendentious nonsense Wrong. when linked to the performance of government. No. He hasn't spoken yet, yeah, Margaret. Can I, can I All right, come, Margaret. Right, okay, no, Margaret. Thanks. For, can I just take first of all the approach? Because I think you're doing a disservice to the cause of the National Health Service, and I mean that seriously. You said that earlier. But, well, let, you made it, that point. Let, well, let me just say, by using trivial issues to try and draw attention like to a dying. serious debate. No, That's you're trivial, using the it? trivial issues, the trivial issue of Jerry Hayes. Is to talk about a serious debate on the, on the future of the National Health Service, I think is a disservice to politics. Fine. On the health service itself, you only have to look 
at the endless day-to-day -day examples of ambulances waiting in queues to get into accident emergency par uh, departments, of people having operations um, uh, cancelled, of old people s being sent home too early, of the breast cancer You're issues, of like people not being picked up. <coughs> well, it yeah. may Standing be a political, like a a political yeah. Well, yeah. I am a politician, I know Robert. That. I, know. I am a politician, I Robert. But, do you want you the, you, but you're saying you don't want Max representing the Labour Party on this well, issue. Well, not, not only do I not... Do you want I him not, to bring down the government for you? Do, I mean, do, not only do I not want him sorry. representing us on, the, on, on this issue, I think he's a doing a disservice to the importance Russell, of the issue by okay. trivialising yeah. it. Well... It, there's some very eloquent speeches going on. There's a lot of people who are very passionate, including Max, whether it's be about the health service or, or the things he's done. But on the whole, most people don't know Max. And they see the public persona, they see what happens with some of the things such as I mean, Jerry Hayes. And yes, it is unfortunate for Jerry Hayes and his wife, but then again, if he hadn't done the things that actually happened... He says he did. He no. said he didn't. He I can't moralise. Yeah. But surely in, in issues like that, it's the papers who make the decision whether he's a conduit or not. But what is important here with, with the likes of Max, he does believe in what he says. He does believe in things like <laughs> trying... <laughs> I'm like no, sorry. When he's finished. No, yeah. I'm sorry. his own admission, what he says is a I'm lie. Sorry, no. He still believes in what he says. No, I think no, that's, that's even more dangerous if he's believing his own lie. No, no, sorry. <laughs> no, no, sorry. The, 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 the veracity of what anybody says is down to the newspapers and, and the legal people to actually check out on stories there. But I'm not talking about... <laughs> I'm not qualified people to lie comment. People lie to you. I, I'm not qualified to actually like comment. Well, what are you qualified to talk about, Russell? Now, all I know is can talk about is Max and somebody as I find him. Quickly. And I've seen all the work he's done at the Royal Marsden and the, the help he does in terms of helping raise money, in terms of helping children, in terms of bringing some, some joy to their life and, and people who have been severely disadvantaged for whatever reason. Do you agree that he needs help with his image? <laughs> I don't think so. Boris, 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 Boris. I just want to ask a question about a moral crusade in favour of the health sector. Mm. I'd like to ask uh, what it really costs you and what it really uh, brings to you. Because it seems to me, for instance, how much of a hundred thousand uh, pound story, how much do you take? That's the first well, question let me I'd, I'd like to know. And then I, then I, then I, then I, before you answer that question, let me, let me just say, let me just say. I took him to talk radio. Let me just say this. And talk radio was on ITN and London Weekend and in all the national newspapers. Talk radio are one of my clients I do PR for. They got worldwide publicity. How much did you get? How much did you get of out of this hundred thousand uh, pounds? Well, first of all, it was I think thirty thousand pounds. So you're wrong. Well, Talk I don't wrong. care how much it was. What's your cut? What's your cut? Come on, what's your cut in this moral dilemma? Does it really matter? Does it really matter? It does matter. 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 It does for the values they believe in. The National Health Service has been portrayed in a very, very good way by the Labour Party over the last few years. And I'm not a member of the Labour Party now, but it's been done well. And one of the reasons why it does well in the media at the moment is because the PR it uses through Peter Mandelson. He does it in a very good way. Max is doing it in a different way. Derek, 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 Derek